Hi, I'm making a video on my new program that I'm releasing. Um, it's called Bust Trusted Installer. <laughs> and um, basically what it is, is it's a, a program for um, Windows 7, um, both x86 and x64 versions. Um, and it allows you to delete files that are protected by Trusted Installer. Um, that's pretty much all it does. Um, if you look online, you, you can find that there are some tutorials that show you how to get around the Trusted Installer. But like 90% of them don't work. I I only found one um, on Google that I was able to get to work. Um, but it, it's kind of complicated. Um, and it's not really easy to do if you want to do this sort of thing to multiple files. Like if you want to delete 10 files of like say the Windows sidebar or something stupid on Windows that you don't want. Um, you'd have to enter that command on each one. Um, and it would take a long time to do it. Um, and so I made a program called BusTI that installs itself and when it's installed it makes it so that every file that you right click on um, there's an option called Mega Delete which um, it's like on the menu that comes up when you right click and um, when you click that Mega Delete it will delete any file on the system no matter what it is like if it's protected by anything it will delete it so I, I designed it so that um, it gives you the rights to any file you want on the system um, and the thing does not compromise system security if you're thinking that oh maybe it does that it doesn't because um, it's designed so that um, it only does th those sort of things to the file that it's deleting it doesn't do it to the whole folder I was actually thinking about coming out with a program that just it removes all the permissions from all the files, but that's stupid because then it compromises the security. Um, I mean, I I don't really care that much because I don't get malware because whenever I get whenever I get close to it, I know what it is and I just I don't run it. Um, but a lot of people that are naive towards it will run that kind of stuff and get infected. So um, I I made it so that it's pretty secure. So anyway, in order to get it working, um, what you need to do is there's you can see there's two files. There's one called admin rights and one called bus ti. Um, the bus ti is the installer uh, for the bus trust installer program, and the admin rights is a batch file that you have to run before you run this in, in order to give um, the system administrator rights. Otherwise, it won't allow this program to work. So, what you do first is execute this. Oh wait, I think I think you have to run as administrator. Yeah, you have to right click and run as administrator. And then it will tell you, um, this will make programs always run as administrator. Um, so this is also handy, I mean it's necessary for this to work. Um, but it's also kind of nice because you don't ha have to always right click run as administrator um, yes it does make things a little less secure but if you use your brain and you don't run random exes off the internet you'll be fine so so you press any key and operation completed successfully um, and then it says your system will reboot um, so press any key and the system will restart it's logging off shutting down by the way this is in a virtual machine so um, it might look a little weird for a second. All right, starting up. Um, okay, so as it's starting, I'll just explain basically what the installer does. The installer um, opens, uh, it's an exe file, and what it does is it extracts a batch file to your system directory, C Windows. Um, the name of the batch file is bti.bat. Um, and then it also adds the right click item called mega delete. That's pretty much all it does. Um, it does not not alter the system in any other way. Um, and okay, it's booted back up. So okay, now that it's booted up, um, I'm gonna execute the bus ti. And um, you can see it says administrator because it automatically ran ran it as an administrator. Um, and uh, this is my name, by the way. 
um, that from now on. Um, I'm not using Comp Games 411. I haven't been doing that for a while. Um, so on pretty much every other site that I'm on, I don't do that. But anyway, um, it basically says this program will allow you to delete any Windows files even if they are blocked by trusted installer. Um, it will add Mega Delete option to your right-click menu. So press any key, and it says one file copied and install complete. So you just press any key, and it closes. Um, and after you've done that, you can delete both of these. You don't need them anymore. Okay. So now uh, what happens is, um, let's go down here. I forgot to make my screen the right size, but it doesn't matter. Um, so go to my computer, and let's see. All right, C, Windows. Uh, there we go. It's right there. See, um, so it basically just copied itself right there. Um, so that's all there is to it. It's just that one file and the right click option. So now I'm just going to demonstrate to you how it works. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, let me find, let's see. I am going to find a file that it won't let me delete. So let's go here. Um, doo -doo -doo. Ah, we got Windows Defender right here. Okay, so say you don't like Windows Defender, which I don't. It's freaking retarded. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't use any antivirus software, by the way. I mean, that's not recommended by most people, but it, I don't need it. I haven't gotten a virus in, like, five years, and I know what I'm doing. Like, I as long as you, if you, um, like, every day or so, you check your task manager, you te check um, process XP, um, file monitor, stuff like that. If you have those tools, um, it's sysinternals.com, by the way, or it used to be, but it, probably just Google it. Um, they make tools that if you know how to use them y and you look through them, you don't, you pretty much don't get viruses at all, um, or any kind of malware. So I really don't use security programs. Um, so this is a really good example of something that I'd want to delete using this thing. Um, so let's select it. And as you'll see, I, when I try to delete it, um, when I try to delete it, yeah, see, it says you need permission. You need permission from uh, trusted installer to make changes, but it doesn't. It's retarded because you can't get permission. Um, so my program gets around that. So hopefully this will work. Um, as you can see, when I right click, I have an option called Mega Delete, which is my program. So when I run that, it deletes it. See? pretty simple so it like say I want to delete all of this because I don't like it um, you can tell I, I think this doesn't work either yeah see none of these none of these let you delete but with my program you just delete all of them And uh, oftentimes there are a few left over, like these three that don't get deleted for some reason. I really uh, don't know why, but if you select them and use the normal delete function after the 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 mega delete has been used on it, um, it should work. I think. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so it's in use. That's why it's not working. Um, but if if I were to end the Windows Defender um, service, I think it should work. Um, so yeah, that's that's just an example of of what my program does. Pretty simple, but I find it really useful because I hate how Windows is starting to block things from the user. I mean, if you're an administrator on the computer, you should be able to do whatever you want um, to the system. So this program pretty much allows you to do that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm going to include a link to this program in the description bar. Um, let's see. Yeah, I uh, can't use Mega Upload anymore um, <laughs> like I used to, uh, but I'll use something else. Um, yeah, so the link will contain those two files that I showed you earlier, admin rights and bus TI.
Okay, so um, thanks for watching my videos, and subscribe to my channel if you like programming and computer stuff. Okay, thanks again for watching.